good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Rachel Ray's channel. Today I would like to share with you a post review of a Diamond Art Club painting so please stick around if you'd like to hear about that. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and subscribe to this channel to see more diamond painting videos. Click the little bell if you want to get notified when I go live or share a new video. I really appreciate your support. And without further ado, let's get into this. So this is, and if you can see my little hanger here, <laughs> I've had it hanging up for, for a few hours. This is the completed diamond painting. This is Friend of the Maidens by Diamond Art Club and by Mandy Manzano specifically. I'm gonna kind of tilt the camera here so you can see. It's too long to fit in frame. So, it's a beautiful picture. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll focus on an area for a little while as I'm talking and then move it down so you can see the entire thing. Here we go, we'll start at the top. So, this is Diamond Art Club's Friend of the Maidens. It is a round bead it has AB gems in it as well, which is a kind of special coating that they put on certain beads to give a oomph and pop to the canvas, which is very difficult to see on camera, but it's here along these areas, wherever you see a very glittery sparkle, that's where they are. It had 36 colors in total, including the AB gem. It was ordered on October the 29th, shipped on the 30th, and delivered to me in America on November the 8th. So in total, that was nine days shipping for the US, which is fantastic if you live in the US. I'm just gonna quickly measure. So the pasting size is what we are looking for. Here on the side, it says it's 42 by 75 centimeters and if I look here it is 74 and a half by 41 and three quarters so it is very very close to the advertised size Here on my notes, it also has a section for interaction with seller. To be honest, I didn't have any interaction whatsoever. This was my third Diamond Art Club that I had purchased and had shipped to me in the States before I arrived on vacation. So I didn't actually ever communicate with them uh, and didn't get the opportunity because I hadn't opened any of them yet. So if you're interested in seeing my unboxing video of three Diamond Art Club kits, please click that little I up above. So in my notes here, I'll show you the sheet. I've actually modified this, and my printer needs new ink, <laughs> from another YouTuber. Um, and if you are interested in checking her out, her name is Jennifer Roberts, and her channel is up here. She provides this sheet to anybody, or her own sheet, to anybody who asks and sends her an email. So shipping time. The shipping time for this particular canvas, as I said, was nine days. That's very fast, and it was perfectly packaged. There were no issues whatsoever. It is rolled in a small uh, plastic bag, then put into a box, and that box is then put into another box. So very well packaged. The canvas, I had no issues during the unboxing. There were no wrinkles. There were no tears or bubbles or rivers or anything. The drills were all accounted for and counted um, via how many colors there were and all of the colors were there. There's no inventory sheet with a Diamond Art Club so you do have to trust that the seller has sent you enough. The symbols were very very clear and if I have a picture I'll insert it here for you. And the overall design was pretty good. I was, I was really happy with the way that things were mapped out because my, my interest 
was in the outlining of the characters because that is Mandy's style and that was what I cared about the most and they were done very well I thought so now we'll move on the the unboxing is a five out of five in my my kind of um, review there were no problems with the unboxing at all now I have finally completed it it took me long enough I started drilling on the 19th of November but I only did the upper corner here so where you can see the blue up there and then the brown and maybe a little bit of this part with the fish but then I stopped because I was on vacation with my family and doing other things so then I picked this back up on the 8th of January and I completed it yesterday the 20th so it took me a little while to do I had other things going on and everything so you know you can forgive me I suppose if you want but um, I had no problems whatsoever with this canvas it was a pleasure to work with whenever I was finished working on it I could roll it up and put it away and then I could unroll it and start working on it right away there were no no hiccups there was no wrinkling no bubbling of the glue or anything like that there were no problems with the diamonds either in fact I have the left or sorry the leftovers and the trash let's start with the trash so here I have all the trash bear with me one moment and I'll show you on a green boat okay we're back so these are all of the trash drills that I got on my canvas um, I did not go picking through to get all of the trash like I have done in the past. These are just the ones that I encountered on the way through. So there are a few with excess uh, resin on the sides. And then there are a few too small for the canvas, little bubbles here and there. Uh, some are stuck together, etc this is a very small amount for this size painting so overall I'm very happy with the amount of trash drills that there were that there weren't that many and then if we look at my storage containers here we have plenty of leftovers some we have more than others a lot of the grays uh, we have very few but um, overall I never worried about running out of drills so that's a good feeling um, they had excess of a, a full very large bag about a 500 bag of three tens and another smaller 240 count ba size bag of 939 which I put away because I knew I wouldn't need them which is fantastic so I have those to add to my collection but overall, I have plenty of leftover diamonds. I am going to go ahead and break down this kit and show you how I'm going to do that in another video. So stay tuned for that. So I've gone ahead and moved you just a little bit so that you can see the detail in the bottom portion of the painting. So here we have one of the girls and then we have the tail of the orca. This kind of looks like a mushroom I'm really not sure what's going on here but I'll have a look at the <laughs> the original image and then we have another mermaid over here in the corner so there were no challenges to this particular project I don't remember having any issues I didn't write down any issues that I had there was plenty of confetti to keep to hold my interest I love confetti um, and there were only a few areas of a very big color blocking which were on purpose they were the pearls in this painting and the the orcas face um, so overall I said that the experience was very good I'm really looking forward to framing this not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet me and my husband are thinking hard about it <laughs> um, but the end result, I think it's, it's stunning. It's very, very good, but there's two little spots 
that I'd like to show you and see how you feel about because I did knock half a point for these. So the first is actually this thing here. No clue what that is. It does make this look like a mushroom instead of a pearl and then say I'm sure that the fin of the dolphin or the, not the dolphin the orca is here but it is so dark in this area that this very bright curvy arch doesn't really make sense to me because it's all one color then if I just pull you up a little I love the shading in that mermaid with the red tail beautiful however just adjust you there I'm really sorry about that stop wiggling so here we have this mermaid <laughs> now this is her face this is her arm here and this is her hair something happened here and I'm not happy with it I'm going to readjust the colors myself the arm doesn't look like an arm her face blends with the pearl and so does her hair um, really not sure why this was missed um, I want to say that it was the program maybe the computer program maybe it got missed I, I'm not sure but it doesn't make any sense uh, and it kind of blends into the pearl so I don't think that that it should look this way and that's why I'm going to modify it if you look at the original picture her face looks much more pink even in the thumbnail which is tiny on this painting um, her face looks pink uh, and I, I understand that there weren't any colors lighter than this in this particular painting there's just this bright pink color but I feel like if they had done a little bit of pink on either side it would have stood out a little more from the painting so I hope that makes sense you can see a little bit of pink in her hand here but then it just turns white and it blends in so those are my very two <laughs> small nitpicky things um, which are easily fixed I will fix that so overall, I think that this painting is stunning. I cannot wait to hang it up on the wall. In the meantime, <laughs> I know this sounds funny, but I'm going to just keep it on this trouser hanger, which I got in pennies over here in Ireland. I'm gonna hang this in, in my bedroom on one of the hooks as it is, because it's so pretty. Um, I really enjoy Mandy Manzano's art. If you haven't seen her artwork, please head over to Diamond Art Club, which will be linked down below in the description. She has incredible works of art. You can buy prints from her, um, find her on Instagram. You can get updates. I think that she's very, very good at what she does. And I have another Mandy Manzano that I'm about to begin soon. So if you would like to continue to see her artwork in my videos please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell i will be updating you all very shortly with her brand new work worlds away so guys that's it for this post review i hope you enjoyed as much as i did and i will see you all in the next video take care everybody bye